Good evening fellow vapors, this is Cass and today I'm back at you with another juice review. Yes, today we're going to be looking at the last three flavors in the steeped range. Now it was a little while ago I reviewed uh, the first section of them, I did a part one and a part two. This is going to be part three today. We've got three flavors to look at, so let's get straight down to it. This is the last three flavors of the stuff they sent me and I'm excited to see what they taste like. I've not tasted any of these before, so this really will be a true first impression. So let's get down to it. The first today that I'm looking at is going to be called Coaster. Now the descriptions, we don't have to look online today, the descriptions are on the back of the bottle. So a sweet sensation of lemons and limes all combined into a frozen ice cream. This could be very interesting. Okie dokie, so today's setup is the one I've been using in pretty much every video for the last month or two and I'm going to be using the Vulcan Alpha RDA on top of the Vulcan 1 Met. So this is Coaster from Steeped. That is very fresh. Um, it is quite fruity. So let's go over it. So on the inhale you get a lot of lemon and limey flavours. On the exhale it's mostly lime. There's very little lemon in there. It sort of serves as a bit of a sharpener to the lime rather than actually being a flavour. This isn't as sweet or as over the top as A I was expecting and B some of the other flavours in this range. It's quite a basic flavour but that doesn't mean it's a bad flavour. What it is, is it's lemons and limes. It's got a sort of cool effect to it. Now I wouldn't go as far as saying it's like an ice flavour or like a culada or a menthol but it's definitely got that refreshing flavour that you'd expect from having something like a lemon or a lime sorbet. It's not over the top. It is fairly subtle for a citrus vape. Normally they absolutely rip your head off, but this one is quite a subtle flavor. Surprisingly, because lemons and limes normally take over the world and you'll never get that flavor out of your RDA or your tank ever again, this one is nice and subtle. And because of that, I think you could quite happily all day vape this. Now, personally, I find lemons and limes a bit much generally to all day vape but it's definitely clean enough to all day vape. It is definitely not too sweet to all day vape. And I don't think it's gonna come anywhere close to being a coil killer as far as being an all day vape. So I think you'll get away with it with this one. And it is a lovely fresh lemon and lime. They're hard to find. There are so many out there like lime slushy or lemon slushy or lemonade or whatever other bollocks they come up with. But this one is just a lemon and lime frozen into an ice cream. So, I mean, it's a lemon and lime sorbet, but you get that fresh niceness. I don't get any creaminess from it necessarily. It is really very much that lemon and lime flavor, but it works for what it is. Right, let's move on to the next flavor. The next flavor is Orangeade. There we go. Now I've discussed the bottle design before, so I won't really go over it again in this video, but uh, I don't know whether you can see that name on the bottle, probably because my lighting is uh, just utterly shocking. So that is the Orange Aid bottle. Now I am a little bit dubious about this one because of how I am with orange vapes. They are not my biggest or most favorite thing. So let's see what it says on the back of the bottle about the juice and then we'll have a vape of it. A refreshing, sweet and full flavored orange juice. Can't say fairer than that, I guess. No pretentious bollocks here, guys. Now the only orange flavor that I've ever liked um, like really 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 got on with was the fresh squeeze from Element and that you, you got about three puffs in and your coils were dead. So this is Orangeade from Steeped. It is an orange flavour. It's very juicy, it's very fruity, it's almost got a slight fizz to it as you'd expect from that sugary orangeady drink flavour that you, you you'd kind of want but there's nothing crazy about it. It doesn't go over the top. There's no subtle flavors in there. It is orange juice, end of story. Orange on the inhale, orange on the exhale. It's got a nice sweet aftertaste. Personally, I'd find this a bit much to all day vape, but absolutely could be done by someone who really likes orange flavors, who likes their sweet flavors as their all day vape. But for me, just a bit overpowering to be that. Very full of flavor though and it does taste exactly like oranges. It's not a synthetic flavor. It's, a, it's quite a natural, fruity flavor as you'd expect from that kind of thing. Not synthetic at all, and it's not over the top as far as like sweetener flavor. Cause some, you can have some flavor, you can have some vapes that just taste like sweetener, like Candorel or something. And this isn't it. It's just pure, plain and simple, an orange flavored vape, or orange juice flavored vape, and it works. It works really, really well. There's no 
beating around the bush with this one. They said it was an orange aid. They said it tastes like orange juice. It tastes like orange juice. Close the book. Well worth, well, well worth a look if you're into your orange flavors because there's a lot of crappy ones out there. So, so, so to come across one that's nice and palatable is, you know, is a bit of a rarity. Let's look at the last one. Now the last one I've only got in a Diddy bottle. The last one is called Sparkle. There we go. This one doesn't say it on the back of the bottle, so we will have to go online. Sparkling e-liquid by Steeped, as the name suggests, is a combo of sparkling lemonade with a raspberry twist, which could be good. Lemon Raspberry works really well with lemonade. Um, it just, just does. So we'll see if it's as good as they think it is. This is Sparkle from Steeped e-liquids. Again, does what it says on the tin, this one. The lemonade is more subtle. I think the raspberry on this one, which you get on the inhale, you get a lot of that sort of sparklingy, tangy lemonade flavor. And on the exhale, it's pretty much all raspberry. There's not a huge amount of lemon in there. And I kind of like that. It's nice to have a sort of variation between what it tastes like when you're breathing in and what it tastes like when you're breathing out. The aftertaste, however, is quite a lot of that sort of lemony flavor. This one isn't overly sweet. This one isn't overly sickly. It doesn't just taste like sweetener. I could possibly all day vape this one. I think I do like lemonade flavors. I do like raspberry flavors. And if they're done together and they work well together, it can definitely work. It's a hard one to talk about really. I think because there are so many flavors out there like this, it's hard to set a bar of standard because they vary so much in quality. This one is quite good. I wouldn't have said though, it was utterly mind blowing and utterly memorable, but it is good. If you're looking for something that's fresh and fruity, not cold, cause it's not a nice flavor. It doesn't pretend to be, it's not got any collada or menthol. It hasn't even got a cold taste, but the flavors by themselves are quite fresh tasting. This one works fairly well with the combination they've done and they've got the balance quite right. It's a subtle fruit blend. Uh, when they when people say fizzy or sparkling or whatever like you can't get that fizzy sort of mouth feel so it's really hard to recreate that in flavor alone and these guys have done it quite well it tastes like a lemonade that you'd kind of imagine to be really fizzy i don't it's really hard to explain and it, it sounds stupid when i talk about it but if you were to taste it you'd get what i mean and i think because of that this works well as a flavor. The raspberry keeps the lemonade interesting. The lemonade itself is good and it would be good standalone without that raspberry. And because they've blended it in quite a nice subtle way, you do get some differences on the inhale and the exhale. Even between puffs there, I was getting different sort of levels of the flavor come through. And I really quite like that. It's a shame I only got it in like a Diddy bowl because I would actually vape quite a lot more of that. But hey, you know what I mean? They sent it to me to review. So I'm not, I'm not gonna complain about the bottle sizes, but it's a lovely little vape. It's quite, I think, I think that's the star of this video, this sparkle actually. I mean, don't get me wrong, like the lemon and lime was lovely and the orange aid was exactly what it said it would be. But the sparkle I think is probably the winner for this video because it just works really lovely. Now, if we were to go back all the way to the first video that I did, you'll find the quick shake review. Out of all seven flavors that I've looked at in the steep range, the quick shake by a country mile is my favorite in the range. It is a wonderful strawberry vanilla cream and it is perfect for what it says it is. It vapes beautifully. I did the bottle when I vaped it in like three days flat and it's absolutely lovely. Wonderful, wonderful e-liquid. But the sparkle I think is a very, very close second. So yeah, really interesting to see what these guys have done. I think that about wraps it up for this video. I find myself waffling a little bit. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button please hit the like button. If you've tried any of these e-liquids, drop a comment in the box below, or if you think there's anything that you think I should try, drop a comment below. Don't forget to turn your notification bell on if you do subscribe. And uh, thank you for watching. My name has been Cass, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.